Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do lead code by weekly per question. Minimum cuts to divider circle. So let us first see this question, then about the constraints. And then we will be moving ahead with the solution part for the thing. So here uh, we are given with the question minimum cuts to divide a circle. So a valid cut in a circle can be a cut that is represented by a straight line that touches two points on the edge of the circle and passes through its center or a cut that is represented by a circle line. Straight line that touches one point at the edge of the circle and its center. So a valid line is basically it touches the center and also the edge of the circle. And some of the valid and invalid cuts are something like this. A valid cut, which is basically passing through the center of the circle. And this is also passing through the center of the circle and also touching one of the edge. And this is invalid because it is not passing through the center. So according to that, only we are required to make the cuts. Means basically the valid cuts, which should be there. So given the integer n, return the minimum number of cuts needed to divide a circle in unequal slices. So here, from this first example, it is given that n equals to 4. So n equals to 4 and output is 2. So here you can see that when the number is even, right, here n, basically we are required to make 4 equal parts of a circle and our number is even, right. So we were just required to make 2 cuts and because of these 2 cuts only, we were able to divide this particular circle in four parts. And if we see for the odd number, that is three here. So basically for three, we were required to make three cuts. So that is if a number is odd, so we would be required to make that much number of cuts only. Then only we will be able to get our final answer. So according to these two examples only, we are able to figure out that this is a mathematical question where basically just an observation based question where we, we are required to say that if a number, if the number of cuts which we are required to make, if it is even, then we are required to return the half of that number. Else if that particular is odd in nature, right? So we would be returning that n as it is. So that is the thing which we are required to do in this particular question. And one more edge case which is there is for the one, because here you can see that the constraints are from one to 100. So because of that thing only, when uh, one is basically odd number, right? So we can't do one by two and it would be returning 0 0.5. So that's not the scenario here. For one, we are not required to make any of the cut, right? So that's why in that case, we will be directly returning zero. So that is the edge case which we are required to handle. So coding part for the same is that this is the edge case that if our n is basically less than two, that is zero or one, then we will be returning zero. That is we are not required to make any cut. If by n modulo 2 equal equal to 0, that is it is even in nature, then we will be returning n by 2. Else if it is odd in nature, then we will be returning directly n. So that's the thing which we are required to do in this question. Now comes the part for the time complexity and the space complexity for the same. So time complexity is also order of 1 and the space complexity is also order of 1. Why time complexity order one? Because we are just doing mathematical operation that is division. And space complexity one because they are not using any extra space. So this was all for this particular first question. And yeah, as you are already given these uh, contests, so you can also try out with the Newton School contest about which you can figure out about the details in the description below. There is one link where you can click and get all the details for the same. So yeah, this was all for this particular video. If you have any doubt, you can comment that down. And yeah, thank you.